Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Python for Noobs tutorial. We're back. Um, in this tutorial, I want to touch on some time, like some basic uh, time dealings. Um, anytime you have uh, a situation you're trying to deal with, like a date. Uh, really, we're not even going to get into time on this video. I just want to stick to um, just working with dates within Python, um, which can be confusing enough on its own. Um, let's go ahead and create a Python file so that we can practice this with. And I'm just going to call this uh, date. And first thing we want to do is import date time. Next, let's go ahead and import the regular expression module because we are going to be using that in this tutorial. So for starters, let's go ahead and um, build a string date. And this is going to be a uh, date which is fully spelled out. So we'll say January 10, 2014. I'm not sure why I picked that date. It just came to my mind, I guess. Uh, so now that we have that date, and that is a string, so uh, we need that to be an actual date object so that we can uh, do things like calculating seven days in advance, which takes into consideration uh, leap years and stuff like that and seven days in advance isn't a good example but if you had to go like seven years in advance or something like that um, or you want to have like the final three months of the year how are you going to deal with all that crap like it's very very complex when you actually really think about um, how dates and date systems work and stuff like that so that's why we have this date time module um, so you need to be able to say okay how do I turn a string into an actual date object so and there's all types of different strings that could be um, that could define a date, right? This is January fully spelled, spelled out. It could be Jan or whatever. Um, so in this particular format, um, January 10, 2014, I'll give you an example of how we can turn that into a date object. Uh, so let's go ahead and say uh, date object is a new variable equals date time dot date time. And then we're going to say dot strp strip time and the first argument for this method is going to be the actual date object that we're dealing with, uh, or date string, I'm sorry. Um, so it expects a string, and that's going to be our string date. And then the next argument, in double quotes, it's going to expect the actual format of the date. So it needs to know, okay, what type of date is this? So uh, let me just show you by example so that it makes uh, more sense. So the date um, significance of uh, the fully spelled out month January February March whatever all that if you since it's not the abbreviation it's the fully spelled out month so we're, what that signifies uh, for this uh, strip time function or method is what the hell was that never mind alright so what that signifies is that uh, we need to use a capital B so it's a percent sign capital B and then we're gonna do a space percent sign lowercase d and then there's a comma and then percent sign uppercase y for a fully spelled out year okay and let's go ahead and then say print date object dot date and if everything goes well that will be an actual Python date object so it took a string and then turned it into a date object if everything goes well so we'll see if this actually works and you can see that this actually printed out a date object so it took our fully spelled out month day year and turned it into a year month date which is a common uh, way of expressing a date and by using th this date object we can now uh, go like three days into advance and stuff like that so I'll, I'll get into that in just a moment but before we do that um, let's go ahead and do a short abbreviation of uh, January to just Jan and watch what happens see it says it doesn't match the format the reason why is because the capital B here says I'm looking for a fully spelled out month January February March since this is an abbreviated month we need to do B, lowercase b. Now if we run this program again, it works just fine because it was expecting this format. So let's go ahead and, and turn this back to uppercase. And looking at the actual day of the month, um, what happens if we do D? So 
so it actually does not match. Now, if we take out our comma, watch what happens. Does not match the format. The reason why is that we need to have that comma in there. It needs to know what the hell that comma is. So adding the comma, it then works. Now, obviously, if this comma wasn't here, we wouldn't have to specify it. But since that comma is there, like it routinely is when you're dealing with dates, it needs to be in that, that uh, string representation, which I guess is the best way I would call it. What do they call this thing? Um, basically the format, right? So I'm not, I guess that's self-explanatory. This format has to be the exact same way here. So one other common thing that you're going to run into is um, you're going to see a lot of times the January that the date's going to have this um, abbreviation on the end or not really sure what the uh, English term of that would be the pronunciation maybe I'm, I don't know either way um, you see that all the time January the 10th uh, maybe uh, the second or something like that or um, you'll see a lot of different um, possibilities that that could be and there's a regular expression that we can call on that to remove the 10th because or the TH anyway uh, the regular expression is a little bit difficult because you don't necessarily want to just get rid of a TH or um, like um, ST I'm trying to think of uh, different months that because you might end up like taking out a portion of the month um, if you're not careful so anyway um, most likely you're gonna just need to copy what I put here I'll put this in the video as well so that way you guys have it um, let's create a regular expression compilation. So we'll say x equals re dot compile, and then we'll say actually that's not even going to be necessary. Um, we're going to go ahead and say date object equals re dot sub. and just follow along here So before we actually have this code here, this would actually fail. And it's because of the TH. So we need to be able to remove that. And when you're dealing with dates, you're going to see um, sometimes there's an ST, sometimes there's an ND, sometimes there's an RD, and then there's obviously the TH. So those are like the most common things that you may find on a date, and you need to remove those so that they can be properly turned into a date object. So that's what this regular expression here does. And I'm um, just right here, my bad. So, when I'm not a dumbass and I actually remove that uh, that space in the regular expression, then it actually works the way we wanted it. So you can see that it took away the January 10th, and um, now this will work when we call this other code as well. All right. All right, so this video is getting a little drawn out here, so I want to go ahead and sum this up with um, adding a, uh, some dates, or basically we'll add five days onto our daytime object. So let's go ahead and uh, do that now. So we can go ahead and create a uh, new variable called end date. And we'll say it equals date object plus date time dot time delta and then inside time delta you just have to give the amount of days so we said five and we can go ahead and say print end date dot date and you can see that the new date went from January 10th and is now January the 15th so um, we have a pretty good handle on how to remove some of the 
annoying formatting that you'll find with date strings and then how to turn those strings into actual date objects.